Hi guys, this is Jeremy Nett here, and right here I got a three-quarter inch uh, polycarbonate blade. This one's a clear one from TCSS. I'm going to be working on diffusing this, trimming this down. It's going to be 36 inches long, and it's actually going to be inserted inside of a one-inch blade, just at the base. So, going to be going with the Rebels look on this. So anybody that wants this kind of thin blade look can do this project. But here, here's just a kind of a simple way to go about it. So I'm going to take this out to my miter saw, which has got a blade specifically set on it for cutting plastics and polycarbonate. So I've got it marked right here at 36 inches from the bottom of the blade all the way up to the very top of the blade cap. So with using a miter saw, I do get particles inside of the blade itself, kind of like this piece. This piece is a one inch thick wall, which has got a three quarter inch internal diameter. So this is what it's actually gonna slide into. The main thing is getting this all trimmed down. So I usually use like a, a decent medium grit sandpaper to kind of get this trimmed down. And then I use some paper towel uh, with, with an actual long brass rod to kind of push out all the debris. Kind of like how you clean a gun, gun barrel out. So this piece of polycarbonate is just going to be trimmed to the blade socket depth of whatever hilt I'm going to be using this in. I'm going to flip this around so you guys can see it. Alright, so I'm pushing this up through. Try to keep the brass rod to the middle, that way it doesn't scratch any of the sides. Because if you get that edge of the brass rod in there, then you can scratch your sides, but you can see all the particles that are in the blade are going to be pushed out with the paper towel on it. Right there, I got a nice clear piece, piece of blade stock. Nice and clear all the way through. So my next step will be putting diffusion film inside of the blade and then from there I'll seat the cap in place go through a series of sanding and finish it out okay so I made some progress on it it's kind of redneck here but put some adhesive down on the bottom to hold the blade film in place now this part's going to be completely covered up and if it wasn't for the fact that this is going to be one of my blades, I really want I really don't care about it being all too messy. So got the blade cap bonded in place. So once everything solidifies up, then I'm gonna go through the sanding process, get this nice and dual diffused, and then work on the base for this, which is gonna be used from this piece right here. On the one inch bullet blade right here. I'm going to put a razor knife in here, trim off all the, any of the excess that came from whenever I cut it with the miter saw. Then I'll work with, on the outside with basically what I'll do is I end up running this flat on some moderate grit sandpaper until it ends up sanding out nice and clean on that side. Then I'll measure the blade socket it's going to be going into, trim it off to the length that I need where it's going to be sitting nice and flush and go from there. So right here I got this piece trimmed down to exactly what I want for this hilt right there. It's, it's nice and under flush. So here it is, diffused out the blade all the way down to the end and slid it into its little, little adapter from a one inch thick wall blade. Now I'm going to slide this inside this converted 
ROTJ Luke. This one's a Hasbro. So, it gives it a lot more of the thin blade look. I'm gonna demo it outside, let you see what you think. So it's just three quarter inch blade inside of a one inch thick wall blade, making it for um, more of the Rebels look right here. Thins it down a lot. Is that nice narrow look? So it gives you a super thin look to your blade. And it doesn't take a huge effort. It's like if you're used to diffusing your own blades, it's a little more fun to try to tighten it up to fit inside of a three quarter inch blade. But it's very doable to get this, this Rebels real thin blade look. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.